الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليكم dear brothers I want to share with you the teachings of Quran and Ahlul Bayt about making friends Islam is a versatile and everlasting religion till the day of judgment it gives us guidelines to live a peaceful life and it addresses all matters of our life whether it is a calm or clock Islam also teaches us about manners of social interaction in order to be respectful and respectable mm-hmm. among our peers a good friend and companion is the greatest gift of Allah in this world that is full of hardships and hurdles The presence of a true friend is absolutely necessary for every individual. Imam Ali Alayhisalam said, Not having friends is being like a stranger in one's own land and being a loner. We all need friends whether we are grown-ups or children. We need friends to talk, play, and share things with them. We need friends to always stay by our side either in difficulties or in peace. Friends who respect us and our religion friends who listen, guide, support, and understand us. In the following narration, our sixth Imam, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq salam teaches us the rules of friendship. He says, friendship entails certain trusts and duties. Then the one who observes these obligations is a true friend, and the one who breaches this trust is unworthy of friendship. These obligations are as follows. He should be the same outside as he is inside. He will consider your good deeds and behavior as his virtues and your misdeeds as his misdeeds. If he acquires a position of power and authority, it must not bring about a drastic change in his attitude. He must give his friendship with you priority over all his worldly possessions. He must never leave you alone in times of misfortune or in distress. So dear brothers, we should keep these teachings of Ahlul Bayt always in our mind whenever we are going to make friends. Imam Hussein alayhi salam, by the grace of Allah, had very loyal and true friends who stayed with him and sacrificed themselves over Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Among such great companions was Imam's childhood friend, Habib ibn Mazahir. In Karbala, Imam Hussein al-Islam called no one for help except his childhood friend Habib. That very same day, Imam Hussein al-Islam wrote a letter to Habib telling him how Yazid's vultures were gathering to kill him. Imam Hussein al-Islam was distributing the weapons to all the Mujahids. There was one spear left when someone asked, O oh, son of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who was the last spear for Imam Hussein alayhi salam replied this one is for my childhood friend Habib just then Habib could be seen walking towards the camp Imam Hussein alayhi salam ran forward to greet him with great affection days and nights of Muharram passed by and the fateful day of Ashura came at dawn Ali Akbar alayhi salam gave adhan for the last time. Yazid's soldiers blew the trumpets to start the battle. One by one, Imam Hussein's companions went to the battlefield and gave their lives for Islam. Between Zohar and Asr time, Habib came to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. He said, My master Hussein, allow me to go to the battlefield. Let me sacrifice my life for Islam. Habib, my childhood friend, stay with me. You give comfort to me, my friend. Habib persisted with his request. Eventually, Imam Hussein alayhi salam gave his permission. Imam Hussein alayhi salam mounted his friend Habib on the horse. Habib ibn Mazahir rode into the battlefield. He fought bravely, but was finally overpowered. He fell to the ground. Imam Hussein alayhi salam rushed towards him. Habib looked at Imam and said, Oh, the grandson of Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. Please forgive the humble servant for not being able to give more than his unworthy life for you and Islam. 
Your mom was saying that Lee Salam took Habib in his arms and cried, Oh my friend, oh my friend. Habib died resting his head on the mom was saying's shoulder. Inna lillahi wa inna illahi rajiyun.